Hello there, I am Dave B and I sell Chevys. This is my YouTube channel, Dave B sells Chevys. Pretty, uh, pretty fitting, huh? So here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go through the crossovers that Chevrolet offers. We have two right here. We have the Trax, the Equinox, and over here we have the Blazer and the Traverse. Many of our sales currently are crossover style vehicles. They're super popular and Chevrolet has a great lineup. Before we get into each one individually, let's talk about some of the similarities in all of them. So they are all front wheel drive based unibody construction vehicles with the optional all wheel drive. So you can buy the vehicle in strictly front wheel drive. It'll save you a little bit of money or you can opt to have the all wheel drive model. Now in all of these models, except for the tracks, you can turn the all wheel drive on or off, which is great. So if you run in front wheel drive, you can get better fuel economy. If you run an all wheel, well now you have better traction for snow, ice, rain, things like that. All of these vehicles are five passenger except for the Traverse which is a seven or eight passenger vehicle. And I gotta tell you, it's got a really roomy third row and uh, it's got a lot of cargo space behind the third row as well, which is important. All of these Chevrolet vehicles come with a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper limited warranty, a five year, 60,000 mile limited powertrain warranty, uh, roadside assistance for that five years or 60,000 miles. They all have uh, their first service visit, which is complimentary. It's a, a multi-point inspection an oil change and a tire rotation. Any one of those items can be done anywhere in the country at any Chevrolet store. They all have OnStar, which is a free trial and then a subscription service. There's even a mobile app, which is called my Chevrolet. It's a free download. There's limited services complimentary. And for a, a service fee, you can actually uh, you can actually remote start, lock or unlock your vehicle from your cell phone from anywhere in the country. Now, pretty much everybody these days has a cell phone. All of these vehicles come standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. So you can basically uh, not use your cell phone in the car while still using your cell phone in the car. You're just using it through the voice commands, the buttons on the steering wheel or the buttons on the actual touchscreen radio. Lastly, safety. You know, these days, pretty much every car out there is going to have the same type of safety features. You know, you have your front airbags, you have your seat mounted side airbags, your head curtain airbags, you're going to have stability management, you're going to have traction control, ABS, you know, that stuff is all pretty much standard across the board. Everything's going to have a backup camera. Uh, that's a must have these days on a car. And in different packages, you can get some active features as well. So it's available, like in the uh, Traverse and the Blazer here, and even in our Equinox, you can get a system that will basically help keep you in your lane. If you drift out of your lane, it's gonna nudge the wheel to kind of put you back in your lane. Uh, a lot of these vehicles in certain levels can also stop themselves from 50 miles per hour down to zero in the event of a imminent crash. It may stop you or it may lessen an impact. Let's start with our entry level uh, crossover, which is the Chevy Trax. That's this one right here. It's a great looking vehicle. It's got some style to it. It's got some nice uh, aluminum wheels on this particular one. This is a front wheel drive model. Now the difference with this is if it's a front wheel drive model, it's strictly front wheel. If it's an all wheel drive model, there is no control. So basically when your front wheels start to slip, it's gonna pass 50% of the power to the rear wheels. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to press buttons, knobs. The car will do it for you and it works fantastic. Now, because this is the smallest vehicle of the bunch, uh, it is a five passenger. It's a little narrower. Uh, you know, it's again, it's designed for, for maybe commuting, uh, small families, uh, maybe just a couple, two people, you know, things like that. Uh, one thing to notice, you have an armrest here on the driver's seat, which is nice. You do not have any kind of center storage here, uh, just a number of different cup holders and things like that. Again, being a little narrow, you know, you really can't fit that there. Um, everything, actually this stands for all four vehicles are gonna have a tilting and telescopic steering wheel. So you could adjust that any which way to get comfortable. Every vehicle is gonna have automatic headlights. Doesn't matter what level trim you get, they all come with a 1.4 liter turbo four cylinder. Now the key word is the turbo, that's the most important part. A turbo is designed to get the vehicle moving, it's acceleration, it's torque, okay? So when you're merging it in a highway or when you're taking off from a green light, you're gonna have the power you need. Now, because you have that turbo, they can pair that with a smaller engine. A 1.4 liter four cylinder is pretty tiny, but it's designed that way. This way, when you're going down the road and you're cruising at speed, you can get very good gas mileage because it doesn't take too much to keep the vehicle at a steady pace. I'm gonna do this in every vehicle. I am six foot five. I can fit in here. I'm comfortable. I kind of move the seat a little more forward than I probably would normally sit if I was by myself to see how I fit in the back, just so I can show you that. Uh, when you look at controls, everything's laid out nice and easily. You have uh, optional cruise control here on the left. On the right hand side, you're going to have controls for volume and, and Bluetooth and things like that. Uh, I don't have the keys on me, so I can't start it, but touchscreen radio, you just press and touch. Everything you see is basically a button with a couple of hard keys underneath. Climate control, 
And here you have a couple of USB ports so you can plug in smartphones for that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now I was just sitting in the front seat. You can see in the back, it's a little tight for someone at my height. Again, I'm six foot five. My knees are basically touching the seat. Um, I could have moved that up a little bit more, but I didn't. Uh, important thing, I have plenty of headroom. You know, it, there's a lot of room that way. And, uh, you know, because the vehicle's a little narrower, you can fit another one of me right here. I don't know if I'd want to put three of me in here, though. Behind the second row, we have a nice amount of cargo space. This basically hides anything valuable you might put underneath. It does come out completely. Uh, underneath here, you're going to have your spare tire, jack, and all the tools. And then the seats do fold down. Now, this is where it's a little cumbersome, okay? So this is a couple different steps. And to me, this is a little bit of a turnoff, but it's just the way it's got to be because it's a smaller vehicle. In order to fold the seat down, you first have to find the loop underneath and lift the cushion up like that. Once you do that, the important thing to do is put your headrest down. Once the headrest is down, you pull your handle here and you can drop this. Now, as you'll see, it's not going perfectly flat. It kind of depends on where the front seat is. So for myself, I would have to move this seat forward to give myself enough clearance to then drop this all the way flat. Uh, it is a 60-40 split. It does give you a nice amount of space for cargo. Again, this vehicle being for, you know, maximum five passengers, but in my opinion, really more of like a, a couple, two people, single person, or maybe uh, two, two folks and a child, you know, smaller, smaller families. The price point of the track starts around 22,000 and it's gonna go up to about 32,000. You know, that's your average range. There's discounts and buying programs and all that sort of stuff. And it all depends on how much equipment you put in the vehicle, but uh, definitely a great value for what you get. Next up, the Chevy Equinox. Uh, now, on this one, you're going to move up in price a little bit. You're going to start around 24000 and you're going to go all the way up to about forty-two. again, depending on how much equipment you put in the vehicle, and that's before discounts, incentives, all that sort of stuff, just to give you an average range. Now, the Equinox is a fantastic vehicle, probably our most popular at the moment. Uh, it is front-wheel drive based. There is an all-wheel drive option. With this one, the all-wheel drive button is basically right here. That button can be pressed on and off uh, anytime you want. This way, you can have all-wheel drive when you want it and you can keep it in just front wheel drive to get better fuel economy when you don't need the all wheel. Fuel economy on this is around 25 and 30. Um, that is in all wheel drive. So if you run front wheel drive, you might be able to do a little bit better. This is the 1.5 liter turbo that achieves that gas mileage. Again, we discussed turbos already, same concept. Now they do have a larger four cylinder turbo. It is a 2.0, it's a two liter and it replaced the V6 we had in the previous generation. Uh, linked up with a nine-speed automatic transmission, the thing is like a rocket ship. So if you like something with a little extra power and uh, for more spirited driving or anything like that, you may want to look into the 2.0. It is a little bigger than a Trax. It's a little wider, and you'll see now you have a nice big center armrest storage. Uh, cup holders up front. We talked about the all-wheel drive button. And just like the other car, you have a full touchscreen radio. This is our 7-inch screen. They do make an 8-inch screen, so you have some options there. Uh, you do have climate control. Now, this is a basic model. Uh, so you have single zone, dual zone uh, climate is available. Steering wheel controls are going to look similar. Uh, you know, buttons here to control your driver information center, your Bluetooth, cruise control, automatic headlights, windows, locks, everything power, you know, pretty much standard. Now, when I set myself up in this one, again, six foot five, putting the seat probably a little more forward than I would normally do, but I'm still not touching the dashboard with knees. I'm comfortable. Uh, you know, I got plenty of headroom. This is pretty much the sitting position that I would be in at my height. And when I hop in the back seat, check it out. I mean, I got plenty of headroom. I got about two, three inches of leg room. I mean, it's super comfortable, plenty of room. Um, you do have a armrest here that comes down with some cup holders for rear passengers. You have USB ports for rear passengers and new for 2018 and 19, you actually have climate control vents for rear passengers. When we go to the back for cargo, this one does not have the power door. There is an optional power door in a higher level trim. And there is one uh, in the Premier where you can actually have the kick activated door as well. You'll see you have a nice amount of cargo space here. We have some all weather floor mats. There is storage underneath this panel uh, where you can actually store things like a little small trunk. And then underneath that, you have your spare tire, jack, and all your tools. So they tried to maximize as much space as they could. And check this out. Not only can you fold the seats from here, if you were you know, at the door on certain models like the LT, you can do it from here. So remember before in the tracks, we had to do a couple different steps here. You pull and it drops, pull and it drops. You don't have to mess with the headrests. You don't have to do anything. And this generation Equinox, the 18 and 19, it's a real nice flat load floor. So if you go to the store, you go to Best Buy, you buy a TV, you come in the back, you pull your handles, you drop your seats, you slide your TV in, you close your door and you're on your way. Next up, the all-new 2019 Chevrolet Blazer. 
This thing is bold. It's got awesome styling. You know, it's all about presence. It's a five passenger vehicle that General Motors is going directly against the Jeep Grand Cherokee with. In our marketplace in the New York City metro area, the Jeep Grand Cherokee is 65% of this class shared with the Ford Edge and the Nissan Murano. The Chevy Blazer is brand new to this market. We didn't really have a vehicle that competed directly with that Grand Cherokee. In my opinion, if they come out with some strong leases on this, this car is gonna sell like crazy against the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is our first vehicle where our headlights are not part of the upper part of the grill. They're down low here in the, in the bumper and the top is this LED daytime running lights. This is a premier model. So this is an example of everything you can get in the Blazer. Uh, you know, it is around 50,000. These start at around 29 and they go up to about really 52 if you put everything in it. We've already talked about it twice. Front wheel drive based. You have control for all wheel drive. So there's a knob you can use. It's basically right here in the middle uh, where you can control what mode you want to be in, whether it's two wheel drive, four wheel drive, sport mode, mountain mode, or trailering mode. The Chevy Blazer does come equipped with two different engine options. You have in the lower models, a four cylinder, and then you have a V6. The V6 is the majority of what we're going to sell. It is a 3.6 liter. It's variable valve timing. It's direct injection. It's a whole bunch of computers that are going to really get that engine working as efficiently as it possibly can. It's linked up with a nine speed transmission, which is super smooth. It's just over 300 horsepower. It is a blast to drive. The thing's a rocket ship. It's got power. It's a lot of fun. And it's very quiet as well inside the cabin, which is nice. Fuel economy on this vehicle is about an average of 21. You can get around 18 around town, 25 on the highway. When we step inside, now again, this is a premier model. So this is an example of everything you can get, but it's gonna have the same basic layout. Look at the way the screen is into the dash. Look at the controls. It feels really like the Camaro. Again, it has a sporty feel to it. It's designed that way. It's bold, it's stylish. It's, it's, it's something brand new for General Motors and for Chevrolet, which I know is gonna do very well in time. Uh, this model has pretty much everything you can get. So you have like wireless charging pad, you have USB ports, uh, you have USB-C. You have ventilated seats, heated seats up in the front. You have plenty of room. I mean, the room in this thing is phenomenal. The steering wheel on the Premier is power tilting telescopic. You know, again, this is the top model, so it has everything that you can uh, you can you can add to it. Look at the size of the sunroof. You know, it's awesome. It's it's a great vehicle. Again, if General Motors comes out with some strong leases, I think we'll do very well with this. Six foot five, headroom, legroom, feels fantastic, very comfortable. The back seat, very comfortable. Little lower roof line than even an Equinox when you put this big, huge sunroof in it. And uh, I didn't move my seat forward probably all the way that I could, and I'm just scraping the uh, scraping the the back of the seat here. But definitely comfortable, definitely roomy. And these seats actually can move forward and back. So if you need more cargo space, you can slide this up. If you need more leg room, you can slide it back. That's in this model, and you're gonna see that in the Traverse as well. Cargo space, we have our power door in this particular model. You have storage underneath. You do have a cargo management uh, system, which is available. So this uh, can slide forward and back into different positions to keep your grocery bags up towards the front, maybe separate some of your cargo. Uh, you will see the difference. This seat is all the way back. This seat is all the way forward. So you will see that difference in cargo space that you can gain by sliding that seat forward and back. And just like the Equinox, you pull your lever, you drop it down, pull your lever. That one didn't go down because the seat was actually moved forward. We'd have to adjust for that. And you can do that either by moving this seat forward, moving this seat back, or you can even just press your button on your headrest here, which is gonna fold it to allow that to go flat. With that folded, you get a tremendous amount of cargo space if you have to move any uh, any packages or cargo around. On to the big one. This again, one of our best sellers, probably right behind the Equinox currently, the Chevy Traverse. What's great about this vehicle is the size, okay? We're longer than the majority of what's out there. So if you're looking at Highlander, Pilot, uh, the new Telluride, the Atlas, all these vehicles are they're very similar in the same class, but we pick up more space. I'm gonna show you that first. Just can use our smart slide seat, just like that. You can push that forward. You can do that with a front facing car seat in it. And I'm gonna hop right in here. I'm in the third row. I have headroom. My knees are just scraping the seat. It's actually roomy, it's amazing. These seats in the second row do go forward and back, just like we saw in the Blazer. You have four inches of travel. So if you need more leg room here, or more leg room there, you can adjust for that. And check this out. Look at the cargo space you have behind the third row. This is more than a Chevy Tahoe. I mean, you have a tremendous amount of space. You do have extra storage space underneath. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick example of a way to use this. I had a woman come in, she had a double stroller. This comes out completely. Let's take this out. You can leave it like this if you want. 
when she put her stroller in here, it came just about to the top. It sat right in here, it was amazing. The stroller was huge. And what, in her experience, what she was seeing is when she put the stroller in the back, it was up real high, it would block her visibility out the back window. The Traverse didn't have that problem. Power door in this particular model, some options have the kick gate and you could also do it manually. Now I was just sitting in the third row, now I'm here in the second row. I did not move the seat at all, I have room, plenty of headroom and I have uh, leg room. Again, bar underneath, I can slide the seat back. So if I really want a lot of room, uh, you have the ability to do that. You're gonna have uh, USB ports here in the back, climate control settings for rear passengers. And I didn't point it out, but if you look in the corner here, on each side in the third row, you also have USB chargers. So you can have two charging in the second row, two charging in the third row. All the kids, tablets, their phones, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you pair that up with the Wi-Fi hotspot. You got $25 a month for unlimited data. Everybody's happy. By the way, Wi-Fi is month to month, okay? So there is no contract. So if you're going on a road trip or something like that, you just press your blue OnStar button, talk to advisor, tell them you want Wi-Fi in the vehicle. They're gonna charge your debit or credit card on file, 25 bucks. You're gonna be able to link up seven devices to the Wi-Fi. When you come back from your trip or at the end of the month, you press the blue OnStar button, you tell them you wanna cancel your data plan. Simple as that. Turn it on, turn it off whenever you want. Now the Traverse does have many different models. This one here is an LT. Uh, important things to note, we talked about it three times already. Front wheel drive based, you have control, you can turn on or off to power the all wheel drive. Uh, this is a V6. It's the same engine that's in the Chevy Blazer. It's also a nine speed transmission. Super efficient, great amount of power, you know, only powertrain you can get in the vehicle. Fuel economy here, average of 20. Uh, you're looking at 17 in the city, around 25 around town. And every one of these vehicles, doesn't matter, they all run on regular fuel. So you're not gonna have to put higher grade fuel in any of these vehicles. As we hop in the front seat, we've been talking about it the whole time, six foot five, plenty of room. Uh, tilting telescopic wheel, which is standard, so you can move this in and out, up and down. It's gonna keep you the proper distance from the airbag. Touchscreen radio, you know, nice controls. The base model has a seven inch, this is an eight inch. There is storage behind here uh, with another USB port, so you can put an iPod or a flash drive of music or whatever you want inside there and kind of lock it away. Dual zone climate, um, again, very easy controls. Everything's very easy to operate. We talked about it in the Blazer. Here it is here, the four wheel drive. It's just a simple turn. You know, you go from two to four. You can do it on the fly. While you're driving, it doesn't matter. It's nice and easy to use, and it's fantastic in the snow. Typical storage here in the center, you know, like most cars. Here you have your glove box. You have your USB ports, which is a nice spot to put your cell phone, so you can plug it in for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We talked about how all these cars have backup cameras. There's different levels of backup cameras. Some models have like surround vision, where it gives you an aerial view of the vehicle. Some of them have front cameras and back cameras and all sorts of different stuff. So definitely check out uh, you know, Chevy.com or in the comments below, just any questions you have about any of these vehicles, pop them in, I'll answer them all. I don't know if I mentioned the price yet. These start around 30,000, they go up to about 54. Again, that's before discounts, incentives, depending on what options you want. There's a ton to talk about and to find the right vehicle for you and your family. But that's the lineup. That's the, uh, the crossovers we have right now. And what's pretty exciting is we're going to have to move these two apart because there's another vehicle that's going to slide right in between the size of these two vehicles. It was just announced the other day, and it's the 2020 Chevrolet Trailblazer. That's slated to come out, I believe, first quarter of 2020 as a 2021 model. Uh, press release just came out the other day. So we'll keep you informed of any changes and updates on that vehicle. Thank you for watching. If you got any value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It's gonna help push this video out to more people to help more people. Uh, feel free to share it anywhere you can. Any questions can go down in the comments. I'll answer them all. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Go to a Chevy store and check out Chevy product. You could also subscribe because I would really appreciate that. And if you're looking for a car and you're in the North Jersey area, Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston is where I work. Check us out. Find me. I'll help you out.